You will need a Phillips screwdriver, magnetic if possible, a 3 8 and half inch nut driver, needle nose pliers, and approximately 10 inches of masking tape or electrical tape. All of our kits come with easy step-by-step -step instructions, including photographs. Open machine door and turn off the power behind the monetary door. And then open the monetary door as fast as you can. It helps to use a rubber band or a scrap piece of wire to hold the monetary door open. Remove the bill acceptor and then locate the control board at the top and remove the cover and all the connections. Remove the board by squeezing the plastic mounting fasteners while gently pulling the board to, towards you. Locate the two pin keypad tail that is connected to the display board. Unplug the keypad from the display board. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove all four screws from the display board and remove the board. Locate the seven nuts that hold the front panel in place and unscrew all seven nuts using a nut driver. Please note that the keypad may come loose when you remove the front panel. Place the front panel face down on a flat surface. Remove any tape holding the keypad in place. Remove the keypad from the panel. Caution, the buttons located in front of the keypad may become loose. Remove the display lens and replace it with the lens from the VMC kit. Reuse tape if possible or replace with new tape. Please notice that the clear portion of the new lens is offset to the left from the back of the panel. Install the new keypad with the ribbon cable at the top of the panel. Dress the cable so it clears the stud on the panel. Secure the keypad in position with tape. And then set this assembly aside. Install the new VMC board using four of the mounting holes in the board. This board will mount using the existing plastic snap fasteners. The board should be mounted with the yellow service button on the left hand side. Remount the front panel. Make sure that you thread the keypad through the display cutout in the framework. Using the nut driver, replace all seven cap screws holding the front panel in place. Plug the display cable, part number 11-1700-01, directly into the display header. Please note that pin 1 will be marked with a black wire. You may now mount the display assembly using the four screws from the original display. 
The connector for the display cable should be at the top. Note that the ribbon cable from the keypad should protrude from the bottom right of the display panel. Also confirm that the display is totally visible in the window on the front panel. Insert the mail conversion header, part number 14-0388-00, into the end of cable part number 11-1700-03 from the kit. This mail header will allow you to connect the keypad ribbon cable to the 11-1700-03 cable that will come from the VMC. Notice in the keypad ribbon cable, one of the tracks will have a triangle. This triangle designates pin 1. The mating connector will also have an arrow indicating pin 1. The opposite end of cable 11-1700-03 will plug into J4 of the VMC. The connector is keyed so it can only plug in one way. If possible, use a small piece of electrical tape on the mating connector between the flat ribbon cable and the keypad cable to ensure it won't slip. Plug the power extension cable into the 11 pin connector of the power cable in the machine. Confirm that the keys are lined up between the two connectors. Plug the other end of the extension cable into J17 of the VMC. You can power up the machine at this point to confirm that the display cable is plugged in correctly. You should hear a beep from the board when power is applied. You will see a line of empty squares on the display if one end of the cable is not aligned with pin 1. Otherwise, you'll get a normal display. Turn off the machine before proceeding to the next step. You can now plug the motor extension cable in between the motor harness and J12 on the VMC. The connectors are keyed. You may now plug in the door switch cable to J16. If you are going to upgrade your machine with MDB components, replace both the coin mech and bill acceptor with MDB models. The bill acceptor normally comes with an MDB cable that has an extra connector for the coin mech. We have supplied an MDB extension cable in the kit if needed. Simply plug the MDB connector into J5 of the VMC. I would like to point out that this kit allows you to mix and match MDB with Micromech. In other words, it gives you the option of having an MDB mech with a pulse validator or vice versa. If you intend to keep the original coin mech and validator in the machine, both units must be 110 volt. The 110 volt mech will stay plugged into the female 12 pin bow connector in the machine. To connect the coin mech, plug the male end of the 0186-21 into the 15 pin connector the cable that was originally plugged into P7 of the original controller. Plug the opposite end into J18 of the VMC. Reinstall the 110 volt pulse validator. 
plug the 0185-21 cable into the 15 pin connector of the cable coming from the validator. Notice that the pin 10 key is keyed. Plug the other end of the cable into J15 on the VMC. The installation of the N1 VMC is now completed with the exception of the board cover and DEX port. Before installing the cover, power up the machine. After power up, the display should read Insert Money. At this point, you can hit the yellow service mode button. The display may then say Sys Errors. This is normally because the VMC sees motors that it doesn't recognize. To look at the errors, hit the down arrow once. The display will then say Motor Errors. To tell the VMC what motors it will be responsible for in the machine, hit the G. You should now be in the main menu. Hit the down arrow until you get to configure. Hit the H to get into the configure menu. Then hit the down arrow until you get to configure motors. Hit the H again and this time you will see please wait as a VMC counts the motors. You should then get a total count of the motors in the machine. From this point on, follow the instructions to price the machine and select the proper options. When you think the machine has been configured completely, you should perform several vends using coin and bills. You may now plug the DEX port cable attached to the board cover into J2 of the VMC. Orient the connector so the two connectors mate in locking position. Then mount the board cover on the standoff supplied in the kit. Then simply just dress and secure the cabling so there is no stress on the connectors when the monetary door is opened. That completes this portion of the installation.